If you're watching this, you're confused. You have no idea who you are. If somebody asks you how you are, you don't know how to answer. You've almost forgotten what it is that you like to do. You can't remember what your favourite song is. I know that I couldn't even remember what my favourite meal was. I was in such a tiz. And that's because you're living in a state of high alert. The behaviour that you're living with is so inconsistent. You don't know if you're coming or going. You don't know if when your partner goes out in the morning in a good mood, whether he's going to come back in the same mood or are they going to come back feeling angry and upset because something that's got nothing to do with you has frustrated them during the day. And even if nothing physical happens, just living in that state where you don't know where you are, where your hands are like this all the time, makes you feel as though you're going a little bit nuts. You're not. You're absolutely not. You're not mad. You're not crazy. You're not making this up. Although your abusive partner will tell you that you are, you're making this so much bigger than it actually is. It's just a little upset. Everybody has these. No, they don't. Not like this. If you're finding that you're holding your tongue, you're not happy about things, but you're not raising those topics because you're terrified about what's going to happen, what are the repercussions going to be, then now is the time to start thinking about action. Now is the time to start recognising that you are not yourself. Because if you allow it, to continue to spiral out of control. All you're going to do is amplify how you're feeling at the moment. I know for myself that I was absolutely scared of everything. I was scared if I wasn't up and ready. I was scared if the children weren't perfect. If my life didn't appear to be perfect. I felt out of control. I was so scared of the day-to-day -day being me that I intervened the postman up the road in case he happened to bring something that would make my husband upset or frustrated or angry. And looking back now, it's ridiculous. Nobody should ever be afraid of the postman coming. But I was absolutely terrified. And if you ask me why, to be honest, I still don't know now why I was that scared. I know that I didn't do anything. I know that I wasn't out buying a load of Prada shoes and that's why I was a bit worried about the bill coming through. It was nothing like that. It was the pure inconsistency of my life never knowing what was coming next. So if that is how you're feeling right now, I get you. I know how you're feeling. Maybe watch this over a couple of times so that you really start to believe that somebody else completely understands what it's like to stand in the kitchen trying to gather your thoughts while the world is going on around you. And you can't remember by the end of a sentence how you started the beginning. I get you. It doesn't have to be like this. And it will change. The most confusing thing about domestic abuse is that it comes in so many different forms and it's mixed up with overwhelming feelings that you're the most important person in your partner's life. And to all intents and purposes, you are. And because they're riding on the fact that you're in a situation with them now that you're not going to leave. 
and they don't have to start all over again with somebody else. The other thing is, with how confused you're feeling, is that it's totally retrospective. I didn't see it until I came out of it. I didn't see that the manipulation of financial against sexual, against having lots of nice gifts, against having a happy family, or as I thought a happy family, that that was all part of it. I really did not understand that that was part of where we were going. And because of that, it took me a very long time to try and break all that down. So I'm doing that for you now, just breaking it all down. And the most frustrating thing about all of this is that because your support systems, your friends, your family, you're probably not working, and if you are, you certainly are not telling everybody what's going on, have you know all but left you. You're trying to sort all of this out on your own. So if you're finding that you're a little bit more anxious, you're constantly trying to keep your partner happy, you're constantly trying to think six, eight, ten steps ahead to try and preempt what might happen, then you are in a state of confusion. If you don't know who you are, if you don't remember the last time you had an independent thought that didn't involve your partner, you are in a state of confusion. The only thing that I can advise you to do right now is to sit today, right now, after seeing this, and write down where your life used to be and where it is now, because it's only by seeing it in black and white, very, very honestly, that you're actually going to be able to see the difference between where you are and where you are now, all right? The reason for writing it all down in black and white is so that you can see where you were and where you are right now. But please remember, overriding all of this, is that this confusion has been caused by somebody else. Because not only is it your emotions and your physical body that's being abused here, but also your trust. 